Science Hobby Garage. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to get on the bench and install this copperhead system into the Bronco. Let's take a look. This is the new copperhead 10. Uh, I went with a 1412 motor, 3200, a little hot, but I do have tracks for this now and the stock system couldn't handle it. And then I tried the Tekken system that I had. Same thing, the motor was getting a little too hot and also this system isn't waterproof so I didn't like that. So uh, today we're going to drop the new copperhead in and give it a quick rip, see how it does. So uh, let's get wrenching. I love how easy it is to take this motor and motor mount out of this truck. They did a good job you know, just making it super easy to, to work on. And that's it. You know, it's got the gear indication for your uh, you know, lining your spur and pinning up so you don't have to worry about gear mesh on this truck. But I'm going to go ahead and pull the electronics. Let's crack this open and have a look. Set that anywhere. That's a beautiful can. So this is a 550 can. This is a Holmes Hobby 540, just to give you an idea of the size difference. Both censored. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to stick this in right there. One thing I did do, seeing as I went with the 3200 KV, is I dropped the pinion down to a 9 tooth from the stock 11, just to kind of make up for some of the extra speed that was, I was going to get and uh, get more torque out of this. Like I said, I do have tracks for this now, and, and uh, they do require a lot more power than the stock system could deliver, I felt. So uh, I'm going to get this mounted up off camera, set it back in, and then we're going to give it a go. All right, guys, we're out here with the Bronco. We got the copperhead system installed running 2S with a nine tooth pinion. Um, sorry, it's a little windy, so hopefully that doesn't come through too much, but uh, here we are in low gear. Just do a quick test. Definitely a little faster than stock, but I don't feel by much. Let's throw it in uh, high gear. So now we got three cell, we're in low gear. I feel like it's still gonna be able to crawl nicely even on three cell. But let's see how we're doing in high gear. gear is probably gonna crawl good but I'm gonna take a quick walk through the woods get to the crawl spot and we're gonna see how she does on the rocks. So I decided to keep it on the three cell we'll see how it does this will be my first time driving with a one hand thumber so we'll see how I do there all right let's check it out so I got the drag brake set to slow and 30% um, I originally had it at 50 and it was very intense
Yeah, it's a pretty big rock garden for this thing. Uh, initial and uh, initial impressions are it's very smooth, even on three cell. Doesn't require a lot of throttle, obviously. So I've tried obviously the stock system, the home ho homes hobbies motor with the Teak and ESC. Just didn't feel very smooth. I did have the Hobby Wing um, all-in-one combo in here, and that system I actually really liked. I did find that that one, you know, was very smooth. But when I tried it with the tracks, which I didn't get any uh, video of, it got really hot. It was just too slow on first gear and on second gear it got too hot. So I feel like this system is going to overcome that issue. I'm going to put the tracks back on when we get a little bit of snow again, get some video. This one just kind of feels very well rounded, whereas if you want some speed, you can get it. If you want to crawl, you can do it. You should have plenty of power for the tracks. I guess that's to be determined, but I don't see why it wouldn't. Also happy with the uh, JX servo in here. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested. They're fairly inexpensive. They're waterproof. Not to try to turn this into an ad, but I um, guess my only complaint would be it's kind of got that annoying hum that nobody wants to hear. But just over 300 ounces of torque at six volts. Does a really nice job. It's a big upgrade over the stock Traxxas servo. Get up these rocks, go find uh, find some water to play in, I think. So one thing I do enjoy doing is woods walking with it. And I gotta say with this system, like, well, I'm not gonna do it there because I'll just roll over, but everything's sort of a playground for it. Right? You just find stuff and pop off of it. It's got enough speed to do that with this nine tooth pinion and see if I can find something here. It makes it fun and poppy, I guess.
time to hit lipo cutoff. Or maybe there's something else going on. I don't think the system... Uh... Uh, okay, we definitely got something wrong. It's supposed to be waterproof, but it did not like that last, uh, last bit of water that it got, so I have to look into this. Let's get back to the shop and see what we can find. All right, guys, here we are back at the bench. Uh, so it just appears that the switch fried from all the water. So I'm just going to cut that off, get rid of the switch, solder it, and uh, we'll be back up in action. So I got to say, overall, I'm really impressed with the Copperhead 10 system. Um, I think if you were going to get this, you know, seeing it can crawl, it's very versatile. It can crawl. It's got a lot of power. Um, it can be fast if you want it to be. I think it's going to be uh, plenty of power for the tracks, but I'm going to try that, like I said, as soon as we get some snow. So... Uh, I'm impressed. Uh, so between the Copperhead 10 and the Fusion system, I, I think I'd pick this one. It is a little bit more money, but I think it's more versatile. Uh, don't get me wrong, this is a fantastic system. If I were going to be running wheels only and knew that 100% crawling and didn't really care much for uh, being a little bit faster, I think this would be a good pick. I think it's a little bit more controlled and uh, the, the speed adjusting uh, system that it has built in is really impressive actually so uh, nothing against the hobby wing great system but for my particular uh, driving application the way that i like to drive hands down this is my favorite uh, thank you for tuning in i appreciate it thank you for all the new subscriptions keep them coming um, hopefully i'll be able to do some more videos for you if the weather allows for it and the work schedule uh, i've been busy in the garage we'll step back here and just take a quick look so i've been you know, doing a little painting, taping, organizing, um, getting the trucks sort of uh, in line. And then uh, I just built this ramp here too. So I'm hoping to have Send It Sunday coming up. So stay tuned and thank you again. And we'll catch you in the next one.